As people who have made a few candles, who also own a giant bag of wax, I thought that it would be fun today to try out a few candle hacks. Caitlin's chosen them all. I don't know what we're about to see, but I do know that I'll probably get upset at some point in this video. You definitely will. <laughs> Scandal hacks! I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know what's coming my way. Let me show you the first one. Toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Candle. Toilet paper candle. Toilet paper candle. Is this the wick? Are they gonna use the... It's to, it's to thicken the wick? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a rose. How romantic. A toilet paper rose. I okay. Mean, wait, wait, but does it look good actually? Okay, here are my thoughts. One, it kind of doesn't look that bad if it will hold the shape, but two, are you just gonna like burn the toilet paper? Like are you just yeah. gonna have burning toilet paper in your house? Now, will the wax help it burn cleaner? Kind of like the wick just disappears. Candle wicks are meant to like burn into the air that we're breathing. I don't know about toilet paper. Like, do you just want some nice romantic toilet paper fumes to go with your rose shaped candle? Well, I'm also confused because they just like were rolling and then all of a sudden there's a rose. Just like, where's the rest of the heckin' rose tutorial? Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's <laughs> part of what we're gonna figure out. What scents do you want our toilet paper roses to be? Oh, I didn't, I didn't grab any scents because like I don't have a lot of faith that these will work. Oh, I can come grab on. Some, I, okay. no, I'm not gonna stand for this, I will sit. All right, now I will stand again. Thank you. <laughs> we still have a bajillion candles or candle scents. From when we mixed all of our scents together and yeah. made crisp candles. Unfortunate, and Every unfortunate. time I open the drawer with our supplies, I smell that beverage candle. Let's go that with, uh, I, you know what? Fresh cotton. I mean. You're not gonna go with floral? Oh, cotton because it's toilet paper? <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess that's on brand. Two, three, four, five, six sheets. Six sheets for everyone following along at home. Fold it in half, very important, for reasons. And then just make it into a rose. Start rolling. I'm gonna start like adding yeah, little let it be loose. variations like this. I think it's kind of working. It's kind of working. Am I just a master rose crafter though? It looks, it's a little big, but. There you go. There you go, hey. <laughs> it was that easy. In we go. Looks so tasty, like peppermint bark. Mm, oh my gosh, it really does look tasty. It looks going. It's getting gooped. Get gooped. Is this gonna be red enough? I think maybe. It could be white rose. We could just leave it. That would be toilet <laughs> oh, yeah. paper color. Oh, yeah. Technically, yeah. you could just set that on fire and it'd be fine. <laughs> also, how am I gonna dip it all of the way? They don't dip it all the way. They just leave a nub. They just leave a white white toilet paper nub at the end. The uh, the red still hasn't dissolved, really. They're just suspended flakes. They're suspended not melting flakes. at all. <laughs> oh, we're already failing. We're already learning. Well, I think that there's like different wax, and we're using soy wax, which melts at a different temperature. I think you're right. I'll just add, uh, should I just add some yellow? Yellow. The, the, the red? It'll add to the realism? Sure. Oh yeah, that looks way better. That's what we wanted. Looks like you're uh, like the Queen of Hearts painting the roses red. Yeah. We just let this cool somehow. Yeah. They didn't really talk about. Ooh, hot. You okay? Yeah. Do you have some wax on your finger? Just a little bit. <laughs> I just wanted to see how hot it was. Okay. Um, I can go. I want to keep it upright so that it dries into a beautiful rose so I can present it to you. Ah! All right, one thing that I might be interested in trying. Do you want to say that you just got it out of the freezer? I just got this out of the freezer. <laughs> it's just a wet paper towel. It's not waxy in any way. Look at that thin, thin coating on my hands. I wonder if like scooping it on little by little will help add instead of remelt the wax. Because I worry if we dip the whole thing in there again. It would just melt again. Oh, God. All over oh, it's on your wedding ring. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh jeez. It's spreading everywhere. It's just so it's just so greasy. Oh, it's just it's just falling apart and it's so greasy. Right now. 
Maybe you should put on gloves next time. <gasps> you are so smart. Thank you. Okay, second round of freezer is done. Our wedding ring is still so. Your wedding <laughs> ring is still covered in wax. Mine is great. <laughs> this might be the final dip. It has some meat to it now. Okay, I also was sitting here looking at the images that represented us in this hack. And you know what I noticed? Look what? at the wick. Look at this wick. <gasps> Look at this wick. Look at that wick. Look at this wick. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Their wick is not red. Yeah. They added a, did they add a new wick? Did they just buy a rose candle? Did they just buy a rose candle and add a wick? Look at this wick. It's this red. wick is covered in wax. What? It's all lies. Lies upon lies. These videos are always lies. Wanna do another layer? Yeah. We're gonna do a better job at this than they did. We don't even know if theirs is real. That could just be a wax rose. It's just all lies and treachery. I do feel betrayed. But I also feel like I expected to be betrayed. <laughs> wow. It looks... So beautiful. It looks kind of like an organ. <laughs> well, especially this like weird lumpy part at the bottom, which I think I'm gonna try cutting off. This is so weird. It's weird and it's wrong. And it's, oh, oh, hey. Yeah, that helped. Oh, that makes it look way better. Yeah. Might take a while to get it lit because the wick is really covered. It's covered in several coats of wax. Yeah, yes. exactly. So it's not really lightable. We're gonna have to melt this first. Is it, oh, it might be going? It's it going. Be going, I think it's going. Hey, yeah. hey, what happens as it burns? What happens as it burns? Look, look pay attention to me. What happens when it burns? And also maybe we should either leave the area or like put on masks. Cause I don't know about like burning in, like breathing in a whole wad of toilet paper worth of fumes. Like, is that okay? I'm gonna say yes. It's okay to breathe it in? Yeah, it's just cotton, right? Weird Google searches. <laughs> Can you breathe burning toilet paper? Yeah, so this is made out of all sorts of different ingredients, including not just paper, but also like recycled stuff and everything like that. Then it's bleached at some point in the process to make it white. Let's just stand back. All right, I'm already starting to notice something. I'll use a pointing device to point. The wick is black but also the toilet paper is becoming black all the way around it. So the toilet paper is burning and blackening right now. Yeah. Normally in a candle, you have a wick running down the center that sucks up all of the wax and paraffin as a fuel yeah. and burns that. This isn't a candle. No. This is a giant wick. This is a bad idea. This, this is just a flame ball. It's just gonna become a flame ball. I kind of want to see it. Yeah, me too. It's like you but, think you're gonna have like a romantic evening. You, you spend your afternoon making all these- A whole bunch of them? All these like rose shaped candles for you and your significant other. And you lay them out and you're having dinner together and then- Surprise! <laughs> oh my God, look, it's look, look so at all big. the, uh, it's not burning clean anymore. No, there's like a lot of like black smoke. I mean, it's kind of impressive. Yeah, it's quite the flame. Like, it's, look at it shooting out. It's a thing. It's, it is a thing. Well, it's not a candle. It's symbolic. Of what? Five minute crafts. How it might look beautiful for a moment, but really, it's a flaming pile of toilet paper. <laughs> it's weird how it's so flashy. Oh, it's like. Yeah, it's like really, like a really violent flame. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? It's sizzling. Yeah, what's sizzling? You know, I think we should take this outside. Is this what you expected? Um. When you chose this craft? I didn't uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look at all the like dark on it. It's a fireball. It is, that's a certified fireball. Well, look at the wax. Oh, it's gonna get on our driveway. Ah! Okay, the driveway saved. Is this the most dangerous life hack we've done? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I know. ever. They show this in an indoor setting. Look at this. It's a massive flame. That is massive. It's massive. This is massive. Oh, wow. 
It's truly, truly a fireball. Yeah. You could attach this to the end of an arrow and use it as a fire arrow. Oh yeah, for right? sure. And it looks like it's dripping blood too. <laughs> that's kind of hardcore. Yeah. Like that's, that's really metal. Yeah, it's pretty metal. <laughs> it's crazy though, that like someone just put this out on the internet. I know, as, as like as DIY, DIY instructions for someone this to do. Is not a fun, accessible, and safe DIY. No, this is danger. It's only fun and accessible. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have specific goals you want to accomplish this year? If you want to eat well, cut back on expensive takeout, and save time, you should check out today's sponsor, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. We're not just sponsored by HelloFresh. We're also actual HelloFresh customers and use their recipes every week. My parents are too, and it's fun chatting with my mom every week about what recipes they chose from that week's 35 options. But back to goals. If making calorie smart meals is something you want to tackle, HelloFresh has you covered and even lets you swap sides or add proteins. Or alternatively, if having pancakes for lunch is your goal, you can do that too. They also save you time with their new fast and fresh meals ready in under 15 minutes, like Southwest pork and bean burritos. I think these are the fanciest pancakes we've ever made. Cheers. So good. This is so fancy. We are so fancy. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code EvanandCaitlin21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. You know, I kind of win no matter what with this because I like fire and all candles involve fire. Nail polish? Are we doing water marbling? Maybe. For the first time? Well, we did it. We uh, did like a craft kit. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh! <sighs> Again, burning something that's not meant to be burnt. Is nail polish- Nail polish is flammable. Uh, nail polish is flammable. I just want to see how flammable. Butyl acetate, ethyl acetate, nitrocellulose. I mean, every single ingredient on this Sounds like you shouldn't burn it. Let's do this one outside also. <laughs> you know, I wasn't planning for this video to be like dangerous life hacks, but yes, here we are. Yes, I mean, yes. we've never done water marbling with nail polish before. No. Ooh, okay. I mean, it's kind of looking like it's supposed to. Very fun, I like. How much should we do? I don't know. I don't know. Looks like a gender reveal cake. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do some wiggles. Okay. All right. Seems nicely squiggled. I'm going in. Oh, it looks keep pretty it going, cool keep in it going, there. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Here, let me get the stick. I can't see. Let me, let me clear. <gasps> Whoa, I mean. It's mostly green. It's still it's cool. It's cool though. How do we dry this? It's covered in nail polish. like. So okay. we looked up tutorials on water marbling and it says that you can wipe off the beads of water after about five to 10 minutes. All right, now we burn it? No, now we burn it. I mean, this one, this one was pretty easy to complete. Yeah, if you were gonna leave this out as a decorative candle, that might be fine. But the thing is like, if you were gonna leave it out as a decorative candle. You could just buy a fake candle. Or just do that to a stick, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's guess... burn it though. Should we do it in here or outside? We can start in here, it's yeah. so cold. You know, is this overkill? I don't know, maybe, or maybe it's what we need, which is why we're doing this and you're not. A little bit of the nail polish has gotten to the wick and it's on the wick, it's getting sucked up. Yeah, it hasn't like dripped down the sides, it's kind of dipping in the middle. Now yeah, because it's having a hard time melting the nail polish. Smoke's happening, smoke's happening. It's smoke's getting even happening. bigger. Whoa, 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 something's happening. Okay. We've just been sitting here like kind of semi-monitoring things. It's definitely getting bigger. Um, Should we bring it outside? Wow, there's like a spider web. Oh, of, now it's dying down. Yeah, it, it might've been burning off the nail polish. And now it's like, now it's really going low, like really low. It goes through phases of like flaring up and then dying down and flaring up and dying is... down. And now it's getting big again. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's going down so much. Oh, is it dying? Is it dying? I don't know. 
I kind of hope that it dies so we can end this experiment. Die, 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 This surprisingly isn't dying. It's just kind of chugging through the nail polish. Now, do I think that's a good idea? No. Does it look cool? Life isn't all about looking cool. I would know. <laughs> Run! Ah! Are you ready for the next hack? I have everything prepared. <laughs> I like kind of want to show you the ingredients before you watch it, actually. It's so many ingredients. Yeah. Go for it. Can you, can you guess? Various mixers, cupcake tins, a bowl. We're making a cupcake candle. We are. All right. We're gonna whip some wax. <sighs> and apparently it looks like that when you're done. That's weird. Now look at look at it in that form when they when they put it in. It's kind of like liquid and chunky, yeah, right? Yeah. And now. What? They pipe it in a whipped cream holder and it no longer looks liquid and chunky. Like that looks like actual whipped cream. That and looks also, like actual whipped cream. Also, I'm pretty sure those are actual sprinkles, which you're not supposed to do. Okay, so they made a wax bottom. Yeah, that part seems simple. And they whip. Oh my gosh, that's gonna get hot molten wax everywhere. That's not what I'm into. But like this texture difference, I am suspicious. Like I'm pretty sure they just piped actual whipped cream. I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah, it was dripping out the bottom there. Right? Right? It's like liquid and like granular, chunky. This is like uniform, literal whipped cream. Look at how puffy it is it's right so there. It's so puffy. At that moment, that is 100% whipped like cream. I feel like it's just gonna like glob and plop off. But the other thing is this. Candle wax has two states, liquid and solid. Maybe there, there there's is no There is no gooey in between. Unless it's whipped. Unless it's whipped. All right, so this has three settings. This is the low, the medium, and the high. Do you think I should start with the low? Start with low. Mm, juicy. I mean, it's going. <laughs> it's so jiggly. Ooh. Whoa! Oh, jeez! <laughs> I think we might have to put it in the bowl. <laughs> hey, maybe you'll remove your hand and it'll be super whipped. Oh, surprise for all of us. No. I just had another realization. When they put the mixer into there, it says yeah. melted wax, but it's white. It looks almost like coconut oil. It does look kind of like coconut oil. It looks like coconut oil. So it goes from candle wax to potentially coconut oil to potentially actual whipped cream. You see how um, there's this... <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, are you allergic to BS too? <laughs> so I looked it up. You are supposed to be able to whip wax, but it says it needs to cool in the pour pot long enough for it to set up along the sides and have a film on the top. Come on, whipping. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <gasps> Wow, it's going. Oh, but it's much thicker. That's good. Should I go to higher speed? Yeah, just bl block it with your gloved hand. I just don't want to get oh. any wax on this Evan and Caitlin merch from shopevanandcaitlin.com. Oh yeah, it's very valuable stuff. Look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's thick. It's very goopy and quite solid and thick. It's goopy, but it's like not grainy like theirs was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, wait. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, this actually looks good. Wait a second. It doesn't look like theirs. Theirs still looked like actual whipped cream more than this, but this, this actually looks pretty good. Look at that, huh? Honestly, it looks pretty dang cute. It is all wax. Like, it's I don't think wax. it's gonna yeah. be a danger. Now, I do wonder, like, as you start melting it, Will this spill over the edge, yeah. you know? Let's let it solidify. And then let's melt it and, and see what happens. It. Yeah, yeah, let's reserve judgment. Yeah. But like, it looks cute, right? Like that looks, like I need it. 
I have to admit, I did cut the, <laughs> the wick a little small, but I think we can get a lip. I think we can get it. We didn't know how high the whipped cream would actually pile up. I mean, sometimes with these five minute, is this five and a half crafts? This uh, is yeah. five minute crafts. I wonder why they just don't do this. I it's don't not know. that much harder. And then it's real. <laughs> I don't know. But this looks completely different than what theirs look like. Theirs didn't look like this at all. Yeah. Wait, wait, in, in, their, in, their, in their video, do they take it out of the um, holder? I don't think so. These holders are meant to go in the oven, so it's still, oh, did they take no, it off? they took it off. Oh, uh, <laughs> silicone holders are meant for like 500 degrees though, or something. Whoa! It's okay. It actually looks great, but I mean, it's only That's cool for this one moment. Yeah, once it melts past the whipped cream, it's gonna look bad, I think. It's lame. But it looks cool now. <laughs> it looks cool now. I sometimes wonder, don't, don't tell me, but I wonder if sometimes Five Minute Crafts will see an idea done well like this, and then they do it themselves poorly. You know, maybe I just wanna believe, okay? Maybe you just wanna maybe believe. Maybe I wanna believe that there is integrity. <laughs> There's some good people. Five Minute Crafts Corporation, <laughs> LLC. Did you say Five Minute Crafts? <laughs> Your subconscious thoughts are coming through here, baby. <laughs> I'm just trying to have faith in humanity. <laughs> well, as we feared, it just spilled out everywhere. <laughs> Unlike, you know, a pillar candle, which kind of goes yeah. in on itself. But I think overall we can consider this a mild success. Mm -hmm. We have a boring and dangerous failure. And then we have a very exciting and dangerous failure. But through all of this, I think the most important thing is that we had fun. So uh, I'm gonna take these two things and I'll uh, see you later. <laughs> I mean, look at that though. Oh my God. Thumbnail. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Get a little bit closer to it. <laughs> okay. That's hot. I can feel it on my face. Look at it. Okay, I think we got it. <laughs> <laughs>